On this episode of Horns and Hooks TV, we're chasing big Rocky Mountain elk with Scott Coe of Pioneer Outfitters in Eastern Oregon. To start off the show, pro staff or Amy Spoon will be chasing big bulls in the early archery season. We're gonna run down there during the late rifle season and my boys will tag along with us. You saw that these two coyotes chasing me, this one deer. And Scott's son, Drew, is gonna be chasing his first elk. To complement our 5 to 20 power scope, Huskama Optics is proud to introduce its new smaller and lightweight 3 to 12 power scope. From varmint hunting and lightweight backpacking to heavier calibers for the deadliest game, this scope is built for an even wider variety of applications. With all the high quality lens coating and durability you've come to expect from a Huskama scope topped with turrets customized to fit your ballistic profile. The new 3 to 12 from Huskama Optics, the only patented windage enabled yardage turrets on the market. Stand firm in what you believe. Simple statement, but as Americans, it's part of our DNA. And we stand wherever freedom and justice are under fire. The Model 1911 has been by our side through it all. And proudly, it's once again a Remington. America's favorite pistol design by America's most trusted gunmaker. Available at one of over 50 Sportsman's Warehouse locations. We're all seeking adventure, and there's no better place to find it than Grays Harbor County. From our South Beach to our North Coast and the Quinault Rainforest, Grays Harbor County, always changing, always unforgettable. Visit our website or call us for your next getaway. North Fork Customs. Quality rods built one at a time. Horns and Hooks TV is brought to you by Grays Harbor Tourism. Come visit Grays Harbor, where unforgettable outdoor adventures await. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Visit a Sportsman's Warehouse near you today. Brought to you in part by Huskama Long Range Optics. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. And Horns and Hooks Magazine. Subscribe today at hornsandhooks.com, where outdoor adventures await 24 hours a day. Welcome back to Horns and Hooks TV. All right, we are off to Eastern Oregon with Pioneer Outfitters to go chase some elk around and I am super excited about it. We're gonna take off and get down there and hopefully get to chase some bulls around tonight if we get down there early enough. So let's hit the road. Well, we got into camp a little earlier than we thought. So what's planned for tonight? Well, we're just gonna kinda go up on this big rim out here, just try to find some elk, and if we hear something bugle, we're gonna dive into them, but otherwise, we're just gonna try to set things up for tomorrow. Sounds good. So. That's it. Scott took us up to the top of one of these plateaus, and it was, it was beautiful. The sun was just about to set, but we did have enough time, enough light to, to get a little look around, and we even saw some bulls right off the bat. We got to the top, looked across this draw, and there was, bulls bugling right away. Yeah. 
just from the very first night seeing bulls and seeing what kind of caliber bulls we were going to be looking at even up close, I was super excited. Not only was this place beautiful, but I knew we were gonna be on bulls all week long. It was more than enough to pump you up for the next morning. I hunt early archery season because you get to get in there and get in their habitat. You get to feel the elk, smell the elk, hear them breathe before you're able to take that shot. It's, it's a lot about the interaction. This, that was just insane. Yeah, tonight was pretty intense. We got into four, five bulls bugling. Oh, I think five. One really good bull. <clears throat> we just kind of stayed with him, followed him. Just never could pull him back, but you guys were in him the whole time. Oh, we were in that thick of them. They were in front of us, next to us, behind us, up the hill, behind, I don't know. They were everywhere. I didn't know which way to go. <laughs> uh, that was really, really exciting. That was yeah. fun. Stay tuned, there's more exciting elk action after the break. Fingers crossed because there's a big bull over there. The all new broadband limb savers are the most effective limb savers ever created. They install in seconds and come in a variety of custom colors. Also new from LimbSaber is the AWS Modular Stabilizer. Customize and tune your bow by adding or subtracting nodes and adjusting the sliding precision weight. When you need maximum performance, accuracy, and reliability, there's only one choice. LimbSaber. Legendary performance. Welcome back to Horns and Hooks TV. There was times earlier in the week where I probably could have taken a shot at some smaller bulls, but I had already seen some phenomenal bulls when we were just glassing, even from the very first night. 
Sometimes we were in the elk so thick that they were all around us and I could see a smaller elk over here that I could probably go after and make a move, but I could hear and also see a big seven point bull over here. So we got down to my last full day there. We headed in in the morning and got on some elk, but then they just laid down and they got out of the heat, uh, found a wallow to hang out in all day. So we, we kind of hung out with them. Once the elk finally started moving, we started making a play on them, moving close, and they popped out of the bottom and started working they, their way up the hillside. There was nowhere to hide. They couldn't be more out in the open than they were. I had no chance at any of those elk there, but I could hear to my right, down in the draw still, I could hear bulls bugling. So I knew that they were still coming up. I started working my way in front of the herd along that hillside, waiting for those, those bulls to pop up and finally one did. Kind of went for it, tried to cut the distance, hoping he would stop. He did a few times and I got within 70 yards. He just was never in range. Uh, I still heard bulls down that bottom coming up and so I made my way across that hillside more just hoping that the distance I cut getting on that first bull was going to help me get in front of another bull coming up out of that draw. It happened so fast it seemed like and I know I was wide out in the open but there was nothing else I could do. I had to try it. was intense. They kept stopping. I thought they were going to stop long enough for me to get within range. They didn't. That was so many elk. I don't even know how many that was. Oh, I don't know. They just kicked my butt. That was one of the most heart pounding, exciting experience that I had ever had. We were in elk every single day, multiple times. It was amazing. Scott, did an incredible job. Couldn't thank him enough for the amazing time we had. He's a great guide, great guy. He has a great place down there and it's well worth the trip. I know I didn't come home with a bull, but the experience I had is why I archery hunt for elk. Stay tuned after the break. There's more exciting elk hunting action coming up. So we're just here for hooks, right? Today we're here at our local sportsman's warehouse with Jarris in our archery department. We're checking out Limb Saver products. What do you got for us, Jarris? We have the new Limb Saver Quiver. Brand new, has adjustable bracket on it so you can basically fluctuate the level. If you have short arrows, long arrows, you can actually make them fit stronger and tighter. Fits both standard uh, fixed blade broadheads and mechanical broadheads. And these quivers are extremely durable and absolutely dead silent. We also have the adjustable weight system uh, stabilizer. You're gonna take the weights on and off so you can stabilize your bow. It's at the same time, takes a lot of vibration out of it. It makes it a lot quieter. Another one is the broadband solid limb savers. Um, put them on the limbs of your bow. It's gonna take the vibration out of the limbs. We have a string suppressor here. 
another great product because the older bows didn't these didn't come with them so they have an aftermarket product which you can put on this will stop the string make it quieter less hand shock killing two birds with one stone by using limb saver products reducing noise and reducing vibration which increases accuracy all limb saver products are made in the usa made in the usa made in shelton washington buy local buy limb saver check out these great products and more at your local sportsman's warehouse Horns and Hooks TV is brought to you by Grays Harbor Tourism. Come visit Grays Harbor, where unforgettable outdoor adventures await. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Visit a Sportsman's Warehouse near you today. Brought to you in part by Huskamaw Long Range Optics. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. Youth Outdoors Unlimited. Help a disadvantaged youth experience the outdoors by becoming a sponsor member and get a free subscription to Horns and Hooks magazine. For all your boating and personal watercraft needs, visit the great folks at U.S. Marine Sales and Service. Your number one Northwest Yamaha dealer. Come see our selection of power boats, jet skis, outboard engines, and more. With a fully certified service department, courteous staff, and impressive selection of parts and accessories. Family owned and operated for over 20 years. We're back with more Horns and Hooks TV. Both of my boys, Tyson and Max, were extremely excited to get to go on this elk hunt with us. Uh, we're going on an elk hunt! We're going on an elk hunt! I took them on an elk hunt last year, and it was one of their greatest memories. It's snowing like crazy. We got the two hoodlums, hoodlums in the back, and uh, we're going cow elk hunting. Amy was down here earlier in the year and was chasing yeah, a bunch of monster elk bulls around. Elk, elk hunting again. Yeah. We need some elk meat. We're headed to Pioneer Outfitters to pick up a cow. <laughs> Scott's boy, Drew, has got a tag, and I have a tag. I think it's gonna be Scott's son's first elk. So I'm really excited to film that. That's gonna be so much fun. We're off to the lodge. Bring, bring your swimsuit. No. No, we got a hot tub. <laughs> After a white knuckle drive, we got to Scott's, had a great dinner. We went to bed for some good rest with the anticipation of the next day's elk hunt. Hopefully the boys got enough clothes on. It's pretty dang cold outside. Negative six. Hopefully their mom packed them enough warm clothes. Max kind of looked like the kid on the Christmas story all bummed up. We're gonna go have snowball fight. He threw snow in my shirt actually. It was like 50 degrees maybe. It was crazy like cold. Because it was like, all like snowy. Between Scott side by side and playing in the snow, I think the boys might have forgot they were on an elk hunt. Load up, boys. Time to go. Fire it up. We're going elk hunting. So Max is four. This kid is a hunting machine. I mean, he talks about hunting constantly. All he wants to do is shoot his Nerf guns or his BB guns and talk about elk and deer. He loves watching Horns and Nooks TV and any other hunting show he can get his hands on. My oldest son, Tice, is seven years old. I just hope we get one bigger than last year. And he's just the greatest kid in the world. And I just love spending time with him out in the woods and going fishing and hunting and anything and everything. He's just one of the joys of my life. Don't fall down. Drew has an elk tag through the Hunter Mentor program in Oregon. How's that work? What it is is uh, anybody under the age of 12 years old can uh, shoot an animal, whether it be a deer or elk, through your parents' tag, the mentor, yep. whoever mentors them. So that's what we're doing with him today. First thing in the morning, we gain some elevation. And right off the bat, we spotted a huge herd of elk. It's just a matter of making a plan where we can get close enough in for a shot. The boys really got excited when we told them it was time to get in the side-by-side. We got out of the side by side and made the cold long stalk trying to get within range of this big herd of elk.
Uh, so I was walking. I was holding the camera. And then I tripped over the rock. So there was snow all over the camera. I couldn't tell Jeff because he was doing something with the other camera and he couldn't hear me. He wiped off the camera and then it was all better. Drew's first shot was a little far back, so we hightailed it to the top of the hill. Where he made a perfect follow-up shot. Congratulations, Drew. This is a beautiful cow, man. You did awesome. First elk. Thank you. Give him a high five, buddy. This is awesome, man. I'm pretty excited for you. Thanks for letting us be here when you were able to take this beautiful cow. It's pretty awesome. Good shooting, man. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Thanks for having us. We quickly dressed out Drew's first elk and headed out again, hoping to fill my cow tag as well. It didn't take long at all to get back into the elk. Right in the front shoulder was a little bit low. It was a little bit low, I think. But... We knew she was hit good, but I wanted to make sure my boy stayed warm, so I sent him back to the rig with Scott while Jeff and I followed up the blood trail. Well, there she is, and the creek. Right in the bottom, of course. Boys will be excited. They sure had fun here, man. We got a hold of Scott and he brought the boys up right away. After a little donut party, I guess. We had a donut party. Did you? Good job. Thanks. Did you guys tell Scott thanks? Thanks, Scott. Yeah, we didn't save any either. <laughs> I don't think there's any left. <laughs> little ones. I think you got a little bit of powdered sugar on your face there, <laughs> Mr. Donut. <laughs> We kind of had a donut party <laughs> with Scott. We were like super cold, remember guys? Six. Max probably had more than me. Probably like three. No, I think he had 10. What do you guys think? Is he pretty cool? Uh -huh. You pretty excited? We're gonna have uh -huh. some elk meat again. Yes. We love elk meat, don't we? Uh -huh. Pretty good stuff. Beautiful cow. What do you guys think? Awesome, awesome. Pretty cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The fun being out here hunting like this? Would you guys rather be doing anything else but elk hunting? No. It's fun, isn't it? What do we have to say for, to Scott? Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. You guys are welcome. I had a blast. Thanks, buddy. Hey, I job. love being here, man. Pioneer Outfitters is the greatest place in the world. See you next week on Horsebook TV. Enjoy the outdoors. Just go to the website address at the bottom of the screen to book your trip today with Scott. There's a limited amount of spaces available. Jeff, are you married to my dad? Was it way less takes than my dad? Range long optics. Check out Matt, Huskama, Huskama long range optics. Yeah, lat, the lat during. <laughs> They're both great guys. You should go check them out. They're all great guys. When you got up that morning, what did you wake up and think? We're gonna go shoot milk. I didn't think that. Why do you have wheat thins here? <laughs> I bet you would eat that whole box taste. I kind of did. It's kind of weird ending. <laughs> I just ended it. <laughs>